You know, it wasn't all too long ago. These were all wetlands. No way. Wow. <laughs> I'm having a good time. You're an amazing conversationalist. Well, I try. <laughs> Besides, it's pretty fun to talk to yourself. Yeah. It's nice to get to some truth once in a while. And some beauty. <laughs> Look at all that. God sure knows how to put us in awe of the world. Did I say something funny? What? There is no empirical evidence, is there? No, just your faith. Capital F or not. And the misunderstanding that, yeah, we don't understand everything yet. But hello, that's why we have science, to figure shit out. Now the admission, the only mature admission, is that while we've yet to understand everything, knowledge is to be had. Now you people, Jesus Christ, you people have an interpretation that knowledge is to be handed down. Well, look around you. I mean, take the politics, take the religion out of it, and what are you left with? Bunch of ignorant fucking people. There is no empirical evidence that love exists either, is there? No, there isn't. Just your feeling, capital F or not, and the misinterpretation that maybe, just maybe, two people are meant for one another. No, I don't have to think that he or she or it bestowed us with free will. Or that whatever is responsible somehow gets all the credit for the good but not the bad. And I'm just stuck here trying to reconcile free will with God's almighty plan for us. Come on. What is it about the belief in a God or gods that irritates you so much? Your atheist pedestal rests on the notion of a Western interpretation of God. Your ignorant attitude completely neglects the tenets of Eastern religions, tenets which, for whatever reason, don't seem to have as many of these ridiculous church versus laboratory showdowns that your hypocritical mind clearly enjoys. You want me to be open-minded to the possibility that there is no God. Fine, I will. So why can't you be open-minded to the possibility there is one? I will tell you why. Because you're an obstinate fucking person. The absence of proof is not the proof of absence, and that, my S9 friend, has been proven by countless scientists, detectives, and critics throughout the course of recorded human history. Except the absence of proof is always temporary. Given enough time, evidence will always be produced. The last fucking time, I'm sorry, the last time Evolution does not state that we came from monkeys. I mean, you theists mm -hmm. could learn what theory means in a scientific context. <laughs> Pity that knowledge might be burdensome to your subjective truth. Little D. Well, speaking of theories, I bet you have a great one about the Big Bang. Do you even know who came up with the Big Bang theory? Does it even matter? Sure it does, Mr. Know-it-all. George Lemaitre, Catholic priest. Where's your logic now, jerk? Better than your magic. Hmm. Shut the fuck up. Take me home. All right. Win. <laughs> I'm always gonna win. You should know that going forward.